before I went to sleep. I got the chance to say good night to you. And then after I woke, I got the pleasure of saying good morning to you. Oh, boo, before I went to sleep. I got the chance to say good night to you. And then after I woke, I got the pleasure of saying good morning to you. Hear my last thought before bed, my first thought after waking. See what this means is if we disagree before I go to sleep and the last thoughts that I keep is of you metaphorically killing the sheep that I'm counting. This could fuck up my dreams. So no pressure. Or what I'm trying to say is if after I wake up the only thing that I take is both prior to and post my prayer is of you accusing me of cheating when in reality you're the one that's cheating on me with your insecurities aka your besties. This could fuck up my day. So again I repeat, no pressure. See I think that love should be like a cake. That if you hold it high enough where it belongs in the sky, the Lord will use the heat of the sun to dry it up and solidify this once soft structure into something solid as a rock that cannot be punctured. And no, you can have a peace because there is no type of love in this world that you can want to have in your life to keep that you can allow anybody to eat. Or if you hold it low, then the risk of running through shit exists and persists to be there. And do you want a slice? Tell the truth. Would you like to taste it? So without further ado, I'm going to return the poem to what I intended it to be in the first place. A loved one. Just want you to know that one thing that's most important is that I'm paying attention. So no pressure. Oh, before I went to sleep, I got the chance to say good night to you. And then after I woke. I got the pleasure of saying good morning to you Oh, woo, before I went to sleep I got the chance to say good night to you woo. And then after I woke I got the pleasure of saying good morning to you Good morning to you Good morning to you, good morning to you.